I'm going to make my oatmeal raisin cookies, which are, of course, healthy, heart healthy from the oats, high fiber from the wheat or oat flour, and they're low fat. It's about a teaspoon of oil, and they're easy. Everything's easy. I don't get complicated with a lot of equipment. This is it. I mean, this is as far as it's going to go. So, and everything can be always mixed in in whatever order you want to make it. I just, my entire book, The Skinny Girl Dish, is about making it easy and using what you have. This is called mise en place. In French, it means to put in place. This is ideally what you do before you make a recipe. Usually when I go into the kitchen, I'm an animal and I have flour coming all over me and I don't really prepare, but the truth of the matter is when you do this, it makes everything easier. You don't forget any ingredients. It's all one simple process and while everything's baking, you can clean up. If you have no wheat intolerances, then use wheat flour. Some people who can't eat wheat like to use oat flour. They really you can substitute one to one. It's the same thing. So whatever you have, whatever your supermarket has. So this is the oat or wheat flour. Then I have three quarters of a cup of rolled oats. These are the ones that just come, the Quaker oats or whatever brand you like to use. You could also use the Irish oats that are, that are more coarse, but these are softer. These are kind of better. Just use the rolled oats. This is a half a cup of raw sugar. Sometimes it's called turbinado. It could be called Florida crystals. It could be called sugar in the raw. It's natural cane sugar. That's your sugar. This is a half a cup of applesauce. You use unsweetened applesauce. You don't need the extra sugar. You can sweeten your own weight. This is a half a cup of raisins. You can be fancy and use currants or golden raisins or cranberries or cherries or blueberries or nuts. You use the same measurement. Here's your raisins. Okay. I'm using soy milk because this is a vegan recipe. Uh, if you want to use regular low fat milk, reduced fat milk, if you want to use full fat milk, I don't know why you're coming here to talk to me because this is a low fat recipe. But if you want to and that's what you have, coconut milk, rice milk, almond milk, use what you have. My entire book, The Skinny Girl Dish, is about use what you have variations. So it's very liberating because you never feel like you have to have the perfect ingredient. You kind of make it work for you. Baking is not an exact science. I am going to dispel that rumor. It's not. Okay, this is soy milk. And this is my baking powder and baking soda. So everything rises and is activated. This is a teaspoon of canola oil. You could use vegetable oil. You could even use olive oil. You might, olive oil does have a sort of savory taste, but it's so little you might not notice. And I would not run to the store over using olive oil. Let me just say that. This is a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but I'm going to show you how I measured it, just so you understand. You'll start to get to know. Don't do this with like nutmeg or cloves because they're very strong, and other, ex other extracts are stronger, but vanilla is a little forgiving, so that's a teaspoon. Very scientific. I just saved myself washing one spoon. If I could just save one spoon from having to be washed, then I've done my job here today. I mean, can we talk about how easy this is? And I like to flatten a little bit to make sure your cookie spreads. Had I used liquid sweetener, had I used honey, it probably would spread a little bit more. So you can play around. Okay, these vegan oatmeal raisin cookies are going in now at 350. See you guys in a little while. Okay, let's visit the oatmeal raisin cookies. They should be done. They really, it should be about eight to 10 minutes. Yeah, okay, so here's what happens. This is the story. They are gold on the outside, and they're firm, but you can tell they're still soft inside, so they're not overcooked. So these are done. That's a done cookie. Mmm. Can I double dip in my own milk? I think I, it's my milk. I can double dip. It's my own milk.